Just a little walk around the new Suzuki SX4 S Cross Turbo. Um, sorry for the background noise. Um, this dealer is parked right next to a main road, as you can tell. Um, yeah, anyway, towards the front, you got your headlights, which are blacked out, and you got your LED daytime rain lights, as you can see. Got a slightly redesigned front grille, as you can see, as you can see here, it's all chrome. You got your adaptive cruise control sensor integrated into the front diffuser, as you can see here. And you got your fog lights, and along with some metal trim there. This car has a fuel consumption of 5.9 liters per 100 k's, per 100 kilometers, as you can see. These are wheels. This 17 inch, as you can see here, running on Continental tires. Conti Eco Contact 5. It's quite good. Got your indicators integrated to, into the side view mirrors, as you can see here. Have to open it from the inside. Here are your tail lights. Suzuki SX4 S Cross Turbo Reversing camera Got your parking sensors here Manual tailgate didn't close it properly. <laughs> oh, what the? Oh, I think that's for the suspension joints anyway. Could be wrong about that. Got a little thing solved like a hook. Got some storage here. Got a partlet over there as well. Got a light. Pull this up and pull that one up too. You got a space for the spare tire and your toolkit and car jack are all there. With this you can put it lower and then you get a little bit more room or we'll make it more deeper to put tall items, which is quite good. Yeah. Here's the interior, as you can see. Towards the front, got your gauges, your your rev counter, as you can see here, your temperature gauge for the engine, your fuel gauge, and your speedo. You got your LCD display cluster. Got some power shifters too. It's also quite nice. Got your wiper controls and your indicators. Which is a little bit. There you go. So you got your indicators and lights, lighting controls there too. It's a bit hard to see. Your volume controls and that's the seek through your stations and so on. And you got your cruise control settings here. The buttons have some really nice feedback and your your controls for your hands-free telephone so on to the counter call and voice command got a leather up steering wheel which could be fake leather I don't know it doesn't feel like leather which also has some black stitching here which is quite nice got some gray trim if I open this got some storage here soft touch dash your hazards. Okay. It's your map data for your navigation. They all pull SD cards now. 
all touch buttons, but without the key, I can't really do anything, which kind of sucks. You got climate control, as you can see here. Temperature. And that's for your driver, that's for your passenger. Got your different zones, as you can see here. Sorry, the camera keeps going out of focus, there you go. Dual fan speeds. Front and rear demister. Recycling. Quite nice. Transmission. Vinyl shift boot. Got a power outlet there. Got two cup holders, your handbrake, got leather seats, which has some white stitching here. They're also perforated, as you can see, just over here on the bolster. Got some storage here, and then some hard plastics. Got your switches for the front and the rear. Engine start stop, truck control. Lights and your parking sensors. You got a knee airbag, I'd say. That's just for the fuel cap. I want to check out later. Got a bit of storage here, and if I mentioned that earlier, got a sunglass holder. Got your lights. both them at the same time. The mic that picks up for your voice command, you press that and then that picks up. That's the microphone itself. You got card holder here, vanity mirror, another one here, and another card holder. Got some storage up here. I went down here and you got a USB port there. I don't seem to find a a actual aux cable, aux input, which is weird. That's interesting. Normally they have them here. Anyway, window switches. Yeah, we'll just check out the the back seat, shall we? Um, got some door cards here. All soft touch. Got one cup holder. Well, I'd call it a cup holder because that's the only thing we'd store in there. Drinks. Yeah, you've only got room for one tall bottle. So you sort of got rear cup holders like that. Anyway. Cup holders down. Got two cup holders, or well, normal cup holders. Go towards the center. Um, you got a pretty wide transmission tunnel, but you have space to keep your feet, which is good. Check out the rear seat. I mean, the dashboard from the rear seat. <laughs> Looks quite nice in the interior. Perforation here. Don't have any vents over here. You can fold on the seat if I pull this down. It's not really flat, but you can. But at least you can still fold them, which is what you really want. Switches here. Pull that toggle while I showed you earlier. Just here. Voila.
pretty good vis rear visibility, just a bit of a blind spot there. Yeah. Runs on 95 octane only. Yeah, well, um, hope you enjoyed this little walk around and um, feel free to like and subscribe for more videos. Thanks.